So in this video, we've got the M100 from Harbinger. It's a PE system. It's a 800 watt package peak, and it basically breaks down two by 100. Very nice, exciting system. We also have the M200 set up right next to it, so we can do a little comparison. You're also looking at the M100 being an eight inch package, M200 being a 10 inch package. So for comparison sakes, we also have the Electrovoice 12 inches, their ZLX 12BT, and just because we had a chance, what would this sound like and how would this work if you had a subwoofer? Because you can do that if you head down to a guitar center, you can ask to listen to one of these systems with one of their subwoofers and have a comparison. Say, hey, that's what I like. That's more what I'm looking for in a complete package. So we're gonna talk about these up close and have a good idea of what we're looking at. So also remember when you're looking at a system like this, you're gonna get bags with it. You're gonna get a bag for each speaker and you're also gonna get a bag for the mixer, which is cool. Somewhere to put all your cables and everything. Very nice. And then you can stack it all in one. Right now I have everything that was for all this equipment put away in this one bag. All I'm missing to do is stuff this in here. That's a great way to keep your products nice and safe but also because you can basically put it all together when you actually get to the job site and have somewhere nice to put it away. It's nice and organized. That's good. And here we are. This on our left is the actual M200 BT. And this is what we're going to focus on today is the M100 BT. The advantages between the two, they both carry the exact same amount of power as an output option on it. Now on the actual 100 and 200, the only differences are the additional two extra channels on the right side which are gonna be mic and line inputs, these two here. Everything from this point forward is gonna be the same. This is where we're gonna cover all our same channels. The M200 gives us a five band EQ and it gives us active meter lights right on top. So and up here, this is what we're gonna see as being the same on both. We've got ourselves our 3.5 out connection, which is what we have here hooked up to our subwoofer. Then below that, we've got the option for stereo modes. We can either have it as our main master speaker for our audience and then a monitor speaker for ourselves. And then we have the option to have left and right, which is gonna be our main speakers facing towards the audience. Very nice. Or if you're we're doing rehearsals for yourself, you can certainly place these both on the floor and use them both as monitors that way. And we're gonna see here that we see the exact same functionality and same features overall. Again, our two main speaker outputs or our speaker and monitor. That's why they label it as speaker one and speaker two, just makes it easier to follow. Down here, we're gonna have two actual volume knobs. So if we have it in speaker monitor mode, you'll have two individual volume controls. And if you have it in the actual left right mode, you'll be using the master volume. For the input side, again, we're gonna look at a nice feature option where our two main combo jacks offer us mic, guitar, and line. So this means we're gonna be able to have our line, our instruments, and our microphones plugged in to either one of them at the same time, which is nice because if you have two guitars or two microphones, you can run that here, no worries. Then you're gonna have your line input. So again, I have an actual external source and a controller plugged into here, but you easily have uh, an electric drum set or a keyboard plugged into here, no problem. And a 3.5 option as well. So regardless, whatever your interconnect options are for your equipment, you're gonna be able to either use a balance or unbalanced, so a TS or TRS connection on the quarter inch, and then you'll be able to use an actual auxiliary 3.5 cable. That's really nice. And to make it easy as possible, they even give you Bluetooth that you can turn on and off. Pairing is you have to engage the pairing. That's always important. So this way it's not just randomly going to turn on because somebody else paired to it. No, no, you're in control. Now the unit has tons of power. And like I was saying, they have the exact same amount of power on both of them. The amps are the same. The speakers can be interchanged between the two because there's no power difference in those options. Now, of course, the individual channel one and two both have the high and low capability to them, which is good because this way you can adjust the bass and you also get an echo function built into those two channels as well. Now the speaker itself, it's built out really well. It's got a full plastic body shape to it, which is good, rigid. It can be laid on its side, like we said, for a monitor. Has that nice quarter inch option right in the back to plug into. You can use longer cables if you want. It is pole mountable. All those are easy and convenient thing. It has its own built-in handle and a nice metal grill to it. It even has the diffuser inside. So this way it's gonna have a smoother sound and we're not gonna get any extra effect off of the actual metal grill. Very nice and very solid too. It's, there's nothing, you know, the quality is very well done on it. I do like the ridge design style to it. This allows for even more stiffness in the box. So this way you get a better acoustic over the entire setup. Fun stuff. So again, if you're looking for an actual 
portable PA system that you can use all over the place. This is a great way to start. So if you're in a small space and you want convenience, so if you're in a bar or in a restaurant, or especially if you're in a coffee shop and you want to have something just for the guests around you, so people are purposely sitting close to you. Maybe you're there for a lecture. Maybe you're there to sing. Maybe you need something just to actually PA for announcements. That's a great way to go. I mean, you can't go wrong with that in a nice small space. You're really going to make it easy, especially for a lot of people that have a hard time carrying their voice. This is really going to help along. And again, you can have this so this way you can play your guitar to it. It can be an electric or an acoustic guitar because it's built that way. And you can have a microphone all set up for you. Remember, just get those stands so this way you can mount it up higher if you need to. Comparing the two, you're just going to get a little bit further distance out of the actual 10-inch package. That's going to be featured on the M200. So if you want to have something with a bit larger speakers so you can carry a little bit further, maybe improve the overall bass response and not have to compensate with the actual controls on the mixer, you can do that using the 10-inch. But remember, Harbinger doesn't stop there. If you really want to add some impressive bass to your package and give yourself a huge amount of sound, you can absolutely plug in a subwoofer using an interlink connection, which is going to offer you a 3.5 at one end with two quarter inch at the other. Very smart, very easy setup. So very important when we actually want to connect this actual PA system to, let's say, another powered speaker or to a powered subwoofer, well, you're going to want to get yourself a cable like this, which is going to be on your 3.5 side, a stereo connection, split out to two unbalanced quarter inch. So this is going to be our representative of our left and right coming off of here. So you're going to end up with two quarter inch on this end, unbalanced, each one being one channel. And then we're going to have our 3.5 standard stereo setup, which is basically two unbalanced channels coming off of here. Again, this is just a regular setup. It's a great interlink connection cable. If you don't have one, you're definitely going to want to have a look at the link down below so you can get yourself one of these. They come in different lengths, so get the one that you think is appropriate for you. But again, all we do is plug that into our stereo output on top, allowing us to take the other quarter inch connections and bring that over in a subwoofer or an external speaker. So if we wanted to plug it into one or even two powered speakers on top, we can use one for each speaker or we can plug both in so we get both stereo connectivity off of that one speaker and that's it you've done it you've plugged that in control the actual gain volumes on the actual back of the speaker and you'll be all fine and if we want to make that connection on the back of a subwoofer you simply take one of the channels plug it into channel one take the second one plug it into channel two and now adjust your volume accordingly to what you see is appropriate and you're all set you've now plugged in your subwoofer so we're going to leave it plugged in a subwoofer because that's what we want to do for a sound check on it today we're going to compare it with and without the actual subwoofer so for now we're going to tune that off and we'll go back and take a listen to the system So now what we're going to do is we're going to add the actual subwoofer into the mix. So this way you can hear the difference between just the speakers and the speakers with the sub. Now the sub I'm only turning up a little bit because we're going to match it up. So for sure, if you're looking for a system that you can really turn up and you need a sub once in a blue moon, you can certainly just rent one, but it certainly adds on to the whole system.
to give you an idea of what we're actually looking at, you've got a Marantz MPM 3500R. It's a ribbon microphone from Marantz right here in front of the system. This allows us to pick up full dynamic range of what's coming off the actual system. The ribbon mic also helps with giving us an accurate reproduction of the lower frequencies. So now, again, if I take this, I'm gonna turn up a little bit and I'll just add a little bit of the bass just to show you the difference between the two. So you've been listening to the M100BT from Harbinger, really nice system. If you're looking for a package to get you started in the PA system, something that's easy, convenient, portable, something nice to carry around, something that's gonna sound really nice with or without a subwoofer, because like I said, you can always add that on, it's available for you. But the sweet part about this is that it just works and it works really well. And you can use it for all sorts of gigs be it for a coffee shop or something at a sporting event, something you need, just a little extra sound, this is great. Also, remember, because of its high efficiency, you can use a portable power pack to run this whole system for a very long time. Just need an AC adapter to it, but one of those nice new AC power packs you can carry around with the system, run it, it's there for you. So if you want links for this, by all means, very important, they're down below. There are affiliate links to Guitar Center, so if you wanna see it in person, definitely head on down to Guitar Center. If you'd like to buy it right away and help support this channel, by all means, use the link down below. That's what it's there for. And at this point, we've reached the end of the video, so you can absolutely hit that link. If you wanna hear what the actual M200 sounded like, it's right there for you. So you can hit that link, it'll bring you straight down to the 200, so you can hear it with and without a subwoofer, just like we did with the M100. Thanks for watching, bye for now.